Coach, as you look at this one tonight, what, what did you see as the difference in the second half for the Warriors? I think there was a big portion of our timely turnovers uh, that led to some big time runs for them. We had it at six a few times. Uh, we turned it over. They came up with a lot of those 50, 50 hustle plays, shots at the end of the shot clock. Um, but again, our guys will and their fight to stay poised down the stretch. I was very proud of, but you have to give Golden State a, a, a ton of credit for how hard they played. And they have uh, an elite shot maker and Hall of Fame player and, you know, Steph Curry. And that's that's what we got. Yeah, you touched on it a little bit there. But, you know, turnovers can have different impact against, you know, different teams. But against this team, how, how much can they, they really impact the, the outcome? Of the well, game? it energized them. You know, it went from a six to a nine quickly. Uh, and, I, and I think those are things that, you know, we have to be smarter and, and better for. But, again, to their credit, they did turn us over at, at, the, at the most inopportune time for us. But it fueled their break. Uh, allowed the crowd to get into the game a little bit more. But you know, our guys kept a level of poise that we continue to ask them to do as we grow and move forward with this. And, um, but you got to give Golden State a ton of credit for them, the way in which they played. You know, when you, when you look at the shots tonight, did, did you like the look your group was getting? And you know, obviously, they can make shooting disparity you know, look a lot different. Yeah. You know, I think we got a lot of great looks. Um, I w our guys stepped into their shots with confidence, which is what we want them to continue to do. I thought we did a fantastic job getting to the basket, you know, and a lot of there were a lot of hands and we just have to learn how to play through and not worry about whether we get the call or, or not. We just have to continue to play through. But I love the way in which we attack the basket. You know, when you look at Franz and Paolo, it seems like every night they're, they're having a, a big night or, or strong performances over this stretch. You know, how much do you continue to be impressed by the way that they impact the game regardless of whether or not shots are going? I'll keep saying it. That's why they are both all-stars to me. They, they are trying to make those around them better. Uh, they show up the right way, trying to play the right way each and every single night, knowing that the defenses are tilted towards them and they continue to play, trying to make their teammates better as well. And then they're, you know, they're, they're playing as hard as they can on both ends, which is what we've asked each individual on this team to do. And then when you look at t t tomorrow night's matchup, you know, just how much is another opportunity for the, your group to continue to grow uh, as you prepare for the Kings? No, Dan, it's a great opportunity. And this is a great team that we just played tonight to be able to use the same formula. They have a lot of the same things going with them, the speed, the pace of the game, the offensive rebounding, the three-point shooting. All of those things are lessons we can take from tonight to have to be able to carry over for tomorrow. I think uh, just some stuff didn't go our way. I thought we fought really hard, uh, played together. Um, you know, they made some shots. We missed some shots. Uh, some calls went their way. Some calls didn't go our way. So, you know, sometimes it's just how it goes. You know, turnovers against different teams can mean different things. But, you know, how much does a team like that make you, you pay when you turn the ball over? Yeah, I mean, you know, they got some guys over there who, uh, you know, you can't just give them extra opportunities. Um, because they'll take advantage, and uh, that's what happened tonight. So, you know, we just got to take it, learn from it, and, uh, you know, we got to play another good team tomorrow, so we got to be ready. Against that team, they, there can be shooting disparities. Did you like the, the looks that you guys were getting overall? Man, I mean, I don't know how many in and outs we shot tonight, but if, I know I shot like four. Um, I know a couple other guys did, so. You know, that's tough because uh, those are good looks. Those are good shots that are right there about to go in. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's just how it works out. So uh, you can't get discouraged. You got to keep shooting, you know, because, um, I mean, those are all great shots. You know, Paolo, we didn't have the chance to ask you this after the other night's game, but when you hear guys like KD and, and Brad Beal speak very highly as, as they did of you and, and Franz after – the game in Phoenix, your coach constantly pushing you for, for you for All Star. You know, just what what do those comments mean for you? Uh, they mean a lot. You know, just g gaining respect from your peers. Uh, you know, you you like to see that, like to hear that. Uh, it's just a testament, you know, to the work that we do, um, and you know how we how we play together, and uh, how hard we play. Um, you know, Brad, Katie, rest of those guys. You know, they. They've done stuff that, that we want to do, 
and you know those guys are well established in the league. So, you know we're the next next we're the future. You know we're coming up. So, uh, you know getting their stamp is is always great. You'll have another contest against a team who plays in a similar fashion t- tomorrow in Sacramento. Yeah. Just how much can you take the lessons from tonight and, and apply them to that matchup tomorrow? Yeah, I think turnovers is going to be a big thing. Taking care of the ball, you know, not giving them transition opportunities is going to be huge. You know, they get out and run, they really shoot the ball. So, you know, I think take care of the ball um, and then, you know, just doing what we do, attacking the paint, um, defending. You know, obviously they got a lot of weapons, so uh, it's going to be a challenge, but, you know, I'm looking forward to it and I'm excited. Franz, as you look at tonight's contest, what, what did you see as the difference for the outcome? Um, I thought it was just the fourth quarter and a little bit of the third. Um, for the most part, you know, we did a solid job of defending three-point line. Obviously, Steph, super hard to guard. He hit a, hit a couple tough ones, but um, I think at the end, they got a couple back cuts. Um, I think overall in the game, we probably had too many turnovers. I haven't looked at the, the stats or anything like that, but... Um, yeah, against good teams, that's those are those are the small small things that that'll yeah be the game. Yeah, you touched on a little bit there, but turnovers against different teams can mean different things. How much do they as a team can really make you pay for for giving the ball away? Yeah, um, yeah, they're super tough to guard in transition. Obviously, I'm trying to find uh, all their shooters. Um, and I got guys that know how to play and, and cut and play off of that. So. Um, that's even harder in transition than in the half court. So not just turnovers, but also bad shots. But honestly, for the most part, I thought we played uh, yeah, a solid game. Like I said, a couple areas that we got to improve on. You know, you know, a lot of times when teams play them, there is a shooting disparity. But did you like the looks that, that you guys were, were getting as a, as a group? Yeah, I think uh, that's what I'm saying. I think it's sometimes tough to... You, know, you look back on the game, you feel like stuff isn't working. But I think I think over the last couple of games, we're getting good looks, and we're getting the looks that we're, we're trying to take. So uh, we just gotta stay with it, and like I said, clean up some of those turnovers, and um, I think that that would make a huge difference. You'll prep for a Sacramento team tomorrow that you know plays in a, in a similar fashion. How much can you take the lessons from tonight and, and apply them to Sacramento? Yeah, very similar. Obviously, uh, super fast pace. A lot of shooting, a lot of off-ball screening, so um, it'll be same uh, same type of effort required tomorrow. Um, mentally and physically, I think it's, it's tough to play guys like that, so um, we got to be ready tomorrow.